Hello and welcome back to Southeast Asia and our Abdecom campaign. Uh, we have just engaged and did score some nice hits on a destroyer task force, so these hurricanes are running back. But more importantly, task force 4 is chasing some sub chasers, and with any luck, uh, we might get some naval action in this uh, episode, which would be great. So let me uh, stop it here, and when I get something of interest, I will get back to you. Well, uh, we haven't found the task force that we were looking for here. We did find this uh, uh, thing that we were attacking before it destroyed, and more importantly, we found this thing here, which I believe is probably the remains of the force where we've blown up a magazine on the light cruiser. So I send some focus there, and we will engage the uh, light cruiser, sorry, the heavy cruiser there. But in meanwhile, we've got the hurricanes here, so we are going to do that. Nice. And very nice. Uh, two planes damaged. I think we haven't got damage anything on the other side, so we can do a strafing run with three. Because she doesn't seem to be burning, unfortunately. It looks like the bombs have caused some damage, but not a huge amount of bomb. anymore it's three planes damaged uh, that's uh, and all of them not exactly small damage so we are going to uh, leave shortly but we will see critical critical with any luck they'll get some secondary explosion that will sink her so we are going to wait for a bit Okay, uh, she's not sinking, so we are out. Uh, we will have a more interesting fight on our hands, though, shortly. Okay, we've got Martins here. With something else. So oh, let's see. Destroyer, destroyer, destroyer. And a light cruiser. Okay. Okay, let's start the attack run with the port Martins. Uh, the starboard ones will have to wait a bit because, unfortunately, um, this thing started turning. And off we go. And she's turning again. Bomb should be coming. And she has just managed to outturn. Oh well, what can you do? What I can do is uh, send the other flight in, the other section really, it's not a flight. And off we go. Usually when the light... Okay, two hits. Two nice hits. Uh, when uh, the light... Uh, play is uh, right above well, that's where the bombs will hit okay uh, we are out of here he's not sinking with this critical top side moderate flooding okay yeah and we have lost our no we haven't here it is tactical uh, we can't do the pincer they are circling so we are going to attack uh, from both sides uh, sort of uh, we are going to attack from port only, but one from slightly ahead and one from slightly behind. Uh, so uh, we will see whether that will get us anything good or not. Yeah. I'm not happy with this, but uh, I think this is the best we can do at this time. Uh, 
actually, unfortunately, uh, the Takao has turned so much that the other ones would have been attacking from dead ahead, dead astern, which means that they would have uh, pretty much be guaranteed not to hit. Okay, we lost one Fokker. Let's see whether these three can hit or not. I think it's going to be close. Dad, champ, one, two, two hits, okay. We got two hits, which is good. Pity about the dad, of course. Let's start the attack run with the other three. And see what they can do. Well, that was nasty. That was nasty. Drop and run away, little planes, run away. One more plane lost, two more planes lost, we've got four more planes lost, we will see for four planes if we get at least the five torpedo hits. We've got one, two, three. Okay, five torpedo hits for four of the planes. Okay, I'll, I'll go with it. I'll go with that. It's unfortunate that we've lost so many planes, but uh, yeah. We might send Martins and finish her off. She's a critical flooding heavy topside damage, so we will see. Okay, uh, let's leave. And uh, yeah, critical heavy. If she, I think if we can get something to her uh, more than like the Martins or something, then we will be okay. Task Force 4. Is engaged. So maybe this is the naval battle that we were looking for. Let's start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split these guys because it might be a submarine. Could be a sub. We don't have any radar on these things. Well, we, we, it wasn't a submarine. It is this. Uh, as we've expected, it is this sub chasers. So let's start. Okay, we have started engaging these uh, sub chasers who have foolishly turned around. Uh, we will see what we can achieve here. We've already got hit, while we haven't uh, uh, scored any hits yet. It looks like our friends are not very. Efficient. Ah. We've started scoring some hits on this one. Let's switch. Okay, so this one is burning and will probably not last too long. Uh, she's definitely not firing back anymore, but she's providing an effective cover screen for the other one. Okay, it, it is turning into a bit more white one-sided battle. Uh, no. Wasn't the best handling of the surface engagement on my side. 
uh, because I split the ports, it's thinking it's a submarine. Obviously, that means that two of our destroyers are not getting onto action yet. Uh, they're quite far away, actually. So, I wonder where is the third one, though. Going to cease firing. And we'll start firing again only when we are behind them. These guys look pretty rough, let's face it. But, uh, yeah, a corvette like this, a sub chaser, facing against a destroyer, even if it's uh, a fairly not sort of not a very new type of destroyer, is not a fair fight exactly. But that's the whole point. We don't want to get involved in fair fights. We want the fights to be unfair in our favor. <laughs> oh, the last one is running away. We will not be able to catch it, but that's okay. If we hit the other two, that's sufficient. I've slowed us down and uh, we are going to uh, do some killing blow on these things with uh, the leading destroyer targeting the uh, further away the right one and the following destroyer targeting the left one. So, fire. Amazingly enough, this one is still moving, not for long by the looks of it. The other one is uh, more or less just burning now. She's turning if she wanted to fight, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This one is fully aflame with a nice explosion. Was it a magazine? Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, I'm going to stop firing. I think they will sink now and I don't want to waste the ammo. Okay, the first one is sinking. Surprise, surprise. Again, a plane from Stampy Ball. Um, Stem to stern, of course. And the second one is barely moving. I don't think she'll last for much longer, but uh, if she does, we will just give her a, a few more kicks from our other destroyers, so they can get on the action as well. And that's a sub chaser turned into a submarine. Okay, we are at a point blank. It's just going to be with the with the small guns, but we will see. I don't want to waste ammunition with the big guns. But I don't want to engage the big guns. Big guns will be used more useful at the big for bigger targets. Uh, this, uh, I think, uh, 3.8 inch guns will should be more than sufficient to sink this and against the bigger targets they are going to be not that useful so if we expand the ammunition on this that's fine by me and she's going down and we have sunk our first two ships in ship to ship combat yeehaw <laughs> that was something not bit of a shooting fish in the barrel towards the end, but uh, and we've got another sub chaser turned into submarine, hunter turning into the hunted. Oh, well, let's leave. Uh, it's not even a thousand tons, we have almost no damage, there was a minor damage sort of from something. Uh, yeah, as expected, if we don't get command points for the destroyer, why should we get for this? 
that's okay uh, now let's go and search this area because we know that something is there from the planks okay well after that minor uh, naval engagement we are back to an aerial one against this uh, task force which has only one destroyer and the corvette but in meanwhile let us unload all here because i think we can do it now yes we can and i also want to send this force back to singapore i know i was saying i will get it to hunt here but i'm not entirely comfortable with that uh, because there is that force of 10 destroyers which will just sort of wipe this out in no time um yeah so let's uh let's get more uh more people from um, more men and more supplies from singapore which means that we will win hopefully this faster with fewer losses anyway in the meanwhile let's go tactical with hurricanes here here they come bombs away And this as well. No, nope. no, this was much better. Well, we've got uh, two planes damaged, and we do have four planes to go and scrape if we want to, which we don't need to because he's sinking. Um, yeah. I will do one thing out of curiosity and overflight over the wreck. <laughs> We've sent another destroyer to the bottom, um, so I'm not worried about this thing here. Okay. Nicely settled down the wreck, and we are overflying the wreck, as you can see. Nice. And let's get out. Okay, so we sunk another destroyer, a port no loss which is pretty good. Uh, let us see what else we can achieve. Well, 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 uh, Trusty has encountered a CA convoy, so let's go tactical and see what we can do there. Okay, we have a convoy here, and we have a Mogami here, my this thing here. Okay. Uh, let's ask prepare eight torpedoes. What's the distance? Five thousand yards. Let's do four. Um, we shall turn as far as we can. It's going to be a good distance, about uh, three thousand yards, I would say. Uh, let's identify this. That might help with the solution. And here is our trusty, trusty. Three, two, one, fire. the external torpedo tubes here uh, out of which it actually didn't fire but whatever torpedoes it's a race between torpedoes and the ship and maybe they are not going to miss four out of eight better than truant I gave him slightly lower spread, but better than Truant. Mogami is sinking! Yay! We got ourselves a heavy cruiser. 
Excellent. <laughs> so this is the way to end an episode. The trusty came true. Now all she has to do is escape. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Interesting. So four torpedoes from uh, a submarine will sink a heavy cruiser. Eight torpedoes from uh, a wildebeest won't. <laughs> I don't understand it. Anyway, it is what it is. We sunk another heavy cruiser. I'm happy. As I said, what we have to do now is escape. Okay, we are okay to leave. Knight is Submariner's friend. Yay! Hurrah! Mogami done. Excellent. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. So we will still send her to patrol here, because there is a lots of other targets that uh, we could use. Uh, but let's see. And that's going to be it for episode 9. Well, let me actually run it till the morning and we'll see whether there is anything else. Uh, and if there is anything else, I will get it there. Otherwise, it will be in the morning where I will get towards the end of the episode 9. Well, we have an encounter. <laughs> uh, there are two things. Uh, it's three minutes before five. And we have two ships coming here, probably with another uh, task force, so where we've just weakened our uh, Singapore defenses. Uh, and the task force north got uh, ambushed here, but we are not going to resolve this. I'm going to save and I will use that as uh, the start of the episode 10. So. Uh, and we have also a potentially CACL here, um, so we will see. It was uh, a quite exciting episode, I would say it is, with Fokkers uh, hitting on a heavy cruiser here and uh, a trusty sinking a heavy cruiser. So let's have a go and see what the next episode brings, but in meanwhile, thank you for watching and goodbye.